Hey guys, welcome to your 27th C Sharp tutorial, and this is also Car Mini Project Part 4. In this tutorial, I'm going to mainly be working, or almost entirely be working in the namespace parts, because we're going to make a new class right now, and it's going to be a class called Interior, and this is going to store um, some very simple, simple variables, excuse me, um, that uh, tell the car class what kind of interior it has. And so we're going to deal with two different types of interior, interior cloth and uh, cloth and leather, <laughs> excuse me. And um, we'll probably say what color it is too. And then possibly, I guess that's basically it. Um, trying to think if there's anything else, but let's get started. And if there's anything else, then I will um, we'll do that. So private string color. Okay. So first thing we need to do always when you're making a method that doesn't or a class that doesn't have a main method in it is what? start with your constructor method. That's always the best thing to do. So what we're going to do is say, ooh, that's not a constructor method. There we go. Why am I getting an error? Oh, because I didn't close the class. That curly brace here is for the namespace. The, yeah, the namespace. Um, so first thing we want to do is pass in this string interior type and string color. And so like we did in the motor class, we're going to do a this dot interior type equals interior interior type and then this dot color equals color why am I getting error message hmm that was very strange um, and now let's go ahead and make these get methods so public get you gotta start with capitals I always forget get interior type let's see and get Let's just say get interior, and this is going to be um, we'll void, or it's going to return. Yeah, it'll return. So public string get interior. And remember, oh, because I haven't put a return statement. There. Um, no, let's go ahead and put in interior type. There we go. So remember, if it's a void method, it has to print something out, or it'll just do whatever's inside. If it's actually a data type, like string, it has to return a variable using a return statement of that same data type that the method is. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for public string get color. And remember, last time I said instead of having the um, instead of having the car class print parts method actually access the variables it's a lot safer to make them private that way only this class can access it unless you call a method that lets you print print it out um, or retrieve it I guess you could say so then we have get methods and everything else we need so now we're actually done with this class except we have now we just have to go back into this car class and then we're going to, actually, I need to make this protected. Fix that on the other. So protected interior, interior. And then in here, we go interior equals new interior. We're so creative, aren't we? And then we want to send down two variables that we don't have yet. So let's go ahead and put those in there. And we're going to say string in interior type, and then another string called color. So then we want to send interior, no, interior type and color. There we go. So now we actually have to come back in here and add these to not only this part of the constructor method, but this part that says base. So I'm going to do that for each of these off camera be right back. Okay, so I went in and added in these interior type and color and then interior type and color 
but we're still getting an error message. And that is because up in our main method, uh, when we call the constructor for each of these, we don't actually have a fifth and sixth parameter. So we need to add in two strings. Let's make them blank so the underlines go away. The string twice is still giving me an error. I don't know. Um, so what kind of interior? The first one, the fifth one is interior type, and the sixth one is color. So the interior type of the Porsche Boxster. This is a very luxurious car, I think. I don't really know, actually, anything Porsche sounds luxurious, so I'm assuming it is. Um, so it's going to have <laughs> leather, I'm assuming, plus leather is cleaner. Uh, it stinks when you're in Texas. I have, I live in Texas, and I have a black car with leather interior. Now that is a nightmare to try and cool off, especially when the air conditioner doesn't work perfectly. It only blows out the top normally, and sometimes it comes out by my feet, and every once, every once in a blue moon, it starts blowing out into my face, like it's supposed to at the front, but even when it does, it's very weak, and I hate it. <laughs> it's a nightmare. I hate driving in the summer. Anyways, so this is going to have, what is it, color? Um, let's be fancy and make it red. No, let's not make it red. Let's make it uh, crimson. Nah. Think of a better color. Cardinal. Yeah, crimson's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> um, the Ford. This is a truck. And I'm not really sure that trucks normally come with leather. So we're going to say cloth interior. And it's going to be gray. Bleh. The Kia is going to have cloth as well. Um, let's put this on another line so you can see it better. Put a comment right. Yes. And it's going to have what color? Let's use charcoal. That's a nice bold color for gray. Now, why is this still giving me error messages? Because at the bottom it says identifier expected. Where's my error? Okay, so it's not in here. I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, I have that right. Push box, dear. Hmm. Be right back. I'm going to see what's wrong. Ah, I know what I did wrong. I forgot to put data types by, all the, by these. So we're going to have another string color. Now I'm going to fix the rest of them. Be right back. Fixed it. That's honestly one of the worst things about programming is when you get an error that you weren't anticipating and you don't know why it happened. But luckily I found that one quickly because this program is only 94 lines long so it's all good. Now we need to come into this car cl uh, class car and print out this stuff. So let's go ahead and add another console.write line uh, method just to skip a line and then console.write line. Oops. That's actually supposed to print something out. Let's see. This, let me put a period there. This car has, that's plus sign, plus uh, interior type actual. Why isn't that appearing? Oh, I can't actually access that because it's another method. What's wrong with me? Uh, it's going to be interior dot get interior, and then the close open and close parentheses to say uh, to say the end of the method. Interior. Let's put that in another line as well, and then console dot right line. We're going to say, and what can, um, has, actually let's do get color, get color plus, and then in this we're going to actually uh, put both of these get, uh, get methods in the same thing, plus interior dot, uh, dot get interior 
plus, and let's delete some of these unneeded spaces. Now let's see if that works. I hope it does. There were build errors. Hmm. Where am I missing a parenthesis? It says line 16, column 51. I didn't even know there were columns. Line 16, so it's going to be in here. Ah! I somehow deleted the parenthesis. Now let's close that up. Close that up. Now let's see if this prints out right the way I wanted it to. Horse Boxer has all this stuff. And straight piston motor type. This car has crimson leather interior. Now that's all fine and dandy, except I want a space in there. Put another plus sign, and that should be good to go. This car has crimson leather interior. Ooh, crimson leather. Mm -hmm. No, I want to get a Porsche Boxster. Um, I think that's it for this project, guys. It's been lots of fun. It turned out very beautiful. Not necessarily the most um, efficient of programs, but it's all it's all the principle of the matter of learning how to use these aspects of the C# -sharp language and how they can be used. But let's take a look one more time. Here's interior class, our motor class. Why is this one so much larger? I, I guess it only has like two extra lines in it, but it seems a lot larger. Our random using statements that are automatically generated. Uh, more using statements. We had to implement using parts, so that showed using the using statement. We showed a has a relationship class inheritance, use a relationship, we practice putting parameters in, and this looks like a hot mess, but that's okay because I just don't have uh, restraint, I have uh, restrictions on my recording size, because if I make the, the recording window too big, then it uh, audio video interleave, which is the AVI, the audio and the video actually don't inter interleave correctly, and the audio is ahead of the video. So that's why I record it 640 by 480. Now I don't know if it would do that in this program, but when I try to record using the smooth draw for my trigonometry tutorial, it kind of messed up. So, anyways, um, we showed using the base dot print parts method. Now one thing I do need to say about this real quick before I actually get off of this topic of class inheritance is I'm not 100% sure about this, but I know in Java, so I'm assuming it translated over to C Sharp. I haven't actually tried it. If you try to do something like, um, it's weird, did I indent too much? I did, that's strange. Um, do like console.write line and then write out like hello. I do believe that since the act, the, um, Console.write line statement. Let's see if this actually works. Because I think the base dot whatever, when you call a class from the base class, that has to be the first thing you do. But I'm not 100% sure on that. And it looks like it works. Yep, it sure did. Okay, so in C sharp, you don't, you can put the base dot prints parts class anywhere as long as it's still in the constructor method. Uh, excuse me, my phone's ringing. Sorry about that. It was somebody I didn't even want to answer the phone for. Um, so anyways, so no, you or yes, you can have the base dot print parts uh, met call method statement anywhere in your. It doesn't have to be the first thing called in your constructor method. Whereas in Java, it does have to be the very first thing in the constructor method, or the excuse me, otherwise it won't work. Um, that's it. This was a load of fun. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I hope this gives you a better grasp of like. <clears throat> bigger projects and not just using the main method and making random stuff just for the sake of learning. Um, maybe we'll do another bigger project one day. Not sure. Um, next tutorial I'll probably do like uh, structures or something. I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, till then I will see you guys later.